Good morning. It is Monday, October 11th, and I'm moving today. I'm moving back to Seattle, so my room and all the space behind me is in absolute disarray right now. I am super pumped to move. It's like 10.15 right now. My movers come at 11, and then my rover is also dropping off Pico before 11.30. I cannot wait to be unpacked in a new place and to have my own space again. So pray for me that the move went smoothly and I can't wait to show you the new space. Hello, we are in my new apartment and I'm having a moment right now, okay? <laughs> I had agreed to meet my apartment manager at a certain time today when I messaged her this morning saying, hey, does this time still work? I'm still gonna grab my keys for you today. She was like, yep, that still works. By the way, the contractors are in your apartment right now, finishing up the unit. Today's the 11th, and this unit was supposed to be finished at the end of September, at the latest. And I understand because I told them my move-in date wasn't until the 11th, they could take their sweet time, you know, finishing up, but I didn't think they were gonna be finishing up the unit when I arrived on my move-in date in the afternoon. But then when they left, they left so much so much of a mess. I like immediately emailed the apartment manager again asking her to make that right. I literally think I need to spend the next two hours cleaning everything and Pico is gonna keep me company. Okay, that was the one highlight of today was getting my baby boy back. It's worth it to have my baby boy back and to be moving. On that note, why don't I show you around a little bit and show you how much of a freaking mess it is. This is the living room area and then over here would be the dining room, which I don't really do dining room. I don't have a dining table, so I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. I mean, like, look at how dirty all of this is. Like, the top of the fridge, so dirty. Anyway, okay, enough about that. But this is the kitchen, all new appliances, which is nice. Um, I like the sink. Okay, seriously, like, can you please appreciate how much crap moving down the hall this is the bathroom i like the i mean the white everything so it's a bit of an older building but it is you know remodeled and then lastly this is the bedroom nice big window and then a large closet i'm just gonna start with unpacking the trash bags and the cleaning supplies. All right, let's do it. Okay, update. Well, first, the uh, apartment manager offered to send out a cleaning service to have the place cleaned. Okay, one more update. She did email me back again, saying that she's able to get someone to come in around an hour and a half. And it's not really that helpful because at that point it'll be like almost 6 p.m. Um, so, you know, having my apartment cleaned five hours after I arrived, almost uh, six hours, is like not the most helpful thing in the world, but it's better than nothing, so I'll take it. So, at this point, I'm just trying to move everything out of my kitchen, which is the area that needs the most help. I'm moving it into my bedroom, and then any of the stuff here in my living room, I'm gonna see how much I can unpack into my closet just to clear up some space so they can at least like do some vacuuming or you know, as much as they can in the living room. And then once they leave, I will unpack the kitchen. Good morning, it is now the 12th and I am waiting now for my internet provider to come and install my uh, Wi-Fi. I cannot for some reason get my laptop to hotspot to my phone. I did just get like an automated call from CenturyLink saying that my technician is on the way and it was like, your technician will arrive in time. He or she didn't input the amount of time. I was very, very thankful that uh, my apartment manager sent some cleaners to come. So super, super happy about that. And I'm excited to, to actually get settled in. Um, Pico is, very much getting settled in. Let's go say hi. Oh. Oh. Did someone just walk by? Hilarious. So that was actually the CenturyLink 
technician arriving. Hopefully he wraps up pretty quickly. It sounds like he just needs to, you know, plug and play a few things and then I'll get back to work. It is now the night time and this is the state of my poor kitchen. I have unpacked all the boxes and laid everything out so I know what I'm working with. Um, the internet was just, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna check again tomorrow and see if it works and if not, I'm gonna call CenturyLink again. And on top of that, I'm a child and I don't know how appliances work. I put dish soap in my washing machine. I don't know, man. I couldn't find my like, you know, little pod things. And I really need to do some dishes. Like all of my dishes had just been sitting in the garage for the last eight months. And we're like covered in spiders and like legitimately like rat poop and stuff. So I just need to wash all of them before I put them in my, my uh, cabinet. To be fair, I did Google quickly if you can use like liquid soap in a dishwasher, which clearly you can, but liquid detergent and liquid soap are different. But like when I was just like in a panic this morning and like frazzled and did a quick little search, like the first thing that came up was just like Cascade, like how much to use. And I was like, okay, great. Liquid soap totally works, but obviously Cascade has liquid soap detergent that is meant for the dishwasher. Totally different than the liquid dish soap that I have. So my dishwasher, while my guy was trying to install my uh, internet, my dishwasher was overflowing with suds. I didn't know what to do. Life is, you know, it's good. It's a little bit crazy, but it's okay. So I'll see you in the morning, bright and early for a new day. Wouldn't make you feel better, babe If I told you I've been feeling things You don't believe in thinking that I'm seeing things Heart is in the ground and my head's through the ceiling All the possibilities Losing my ability to know what you're feeling I've been wondering what you think about Baby, you don't tell me so I'm only assuming You don't think I give you loud But say you're happy as long as I'm giving the time that I'm doing Hello, it is Tuesday the 19th and I am just starting to prep dinner. I'm making fresh rolls tonight, I'm super excited. I've been marinating tofu all day and I'm just gonna cut up the veggies so that when my friend comes over, everything is ready to uh, assemble. So let's take a look. My spring roll station is just about complete. So I've prepped some carrots, sliced jalapeno, some cucumber, which is just sprinkled with some salt. This is cilantro, green onions, um, you know, shaved thin. This is the whites of the green onions. I'm gonna put in this sauce, some vermicelli with some sesame oil and chili oil. Uh, this is the sauce, it's like a peanut and soy sauce, vinegar based sauce. Here's the fried tofu and my rolls, or the spring roll wraps. Come on, left hand, you can do it. Lovely. Hello, it's Tuesday the 26th of October and I'm finally back in good old Maggie. I got her back on Saturday, so it's been three days. I haven't driven her yet, so it's been like over a month since I've driven her at all. So we're gonna try to start her up and then I'm just gonna move her. Let's give it a go. It's a bit cold out today. I'm gonna give it two pumps and... Ooh, yes. So easy. She's just ready to go. Hey Google, pause the music. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the 27th of October. Pico is just lounging on the couch wrapped in a blanket that I picked up in Mexico. It's cold, very gray, typical Seattle October. After picking up the van and looking at tires, so it's probably gonna be like another thousand dollars or so on tires, um, possibly more if I change out the rims, which it sounds like I'm probably gonna wanna do because 
the van has 16 and a half inch tires or 16 and a half inch rims and I want to change them out for 16 because it's just way more widespread and it'll have a lot more options. I'm saving up for some exciting trips that I want to take probably early next year so you'll hear more about that. I've definitely kind of been on the, the extended weekend and like more frequent and shorter trips recently. So the last longer trip that I took was Hawaii. Vlogs to come, I promise, I promise when I have them. But any guesses as to where the next major destination is, I am probably gonna be traveling with my best friend Gina. I'll throw her a uh, video with her in the cards because she's hilarious and amazing and like we've known each other since fourth grade. So I need to get back to my toast before it completely burns to a crisp. So I will check in with you soon. Bye. Oh my word. I think he needs a little bit of a break. Right, Rojo? That's a face that needs a break. So the last time I went into Maggie, I noticed that the Max Air Fan is leaking like kind of a lot. I mean, I don't know if it's a lot, but it's been pouring rain in Seattle, like major storms. So we went to Lowe's, picked up some sealant stuff, and I'm gonna tackle that today before it starts raining again. So once all the dew has evaporated from the van, I am going to go up there and seal it up, and hopefully that works, um, because it's about to be rainy for a long time. And I don't know how many more dry days I've got <laughs> to fix it again if I don't get it right today. All right, we're on top of the van now. As you can see, it is still very wet, so I just brought a towel out here, gonna dry it off, clean up the edge of it and then spray it down with some fix seal stuff. So I went ahead and went inside and raised the fan to the top height and just start checking out the caulk all around. Um, kind of as you can see, each of these screws is covered in a glob. Um, here's another one and then this top one Here's the glob and here's the screw. So I think the water is just mostly getting in from here and this is the corner that's leaking. But I'm just gonna give it all a good spray and hopefully that takes care of it. Hello. It is Sunday night and I am just wrapping up for the day. I hope you all enjoyed watching and thank you so much for watching and for hitting the subscribe down there if you're curious to see more of my adventures. I'm wrapping up this vlog. I know this was probably a pretty long one because I feel like I did a lot of filming this month. So if you've stuck around to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more vlogs like this and more travel content, hit the subscribe button down here. Like this video so I know that you liked it. And I will see you next month. Thank you all and I hope you had a great October and have an even better November. So I will see you next month. Bye!